to see all these beautiful teak trees. And how interesting, I mean, there's a wide buffer here with the property line. Yeah, that's so that the property manager can access, he can patrol the property all around the boundaries. They've made this, this pass. And you can clearly see all the trees easily so you can see what's going on with the property at all points. Yep. Right. You know, another interesting tip, Macarena, is teak is one of the most lowest maintenance crop to plant on the property. Basically, you stick it in the ground and you let it grow. And <laughs> look at what it's doing. And this is what you said a couple years away from being harvested, right? Yeah, it's 18 years old, the most mature ones in here. And usually at 20 years onward, they can be harvested for wood. Just beautiful. So this is money in the ground. Mm -hmm. You can find Mayan pottery on your own property. This property has a lot of interesting features. In fact, there are several Mayan residential house mounds on the 120 acres here. They knew where to build, didn't they? And well, talking about building and house mounds, Macarena, another fantastic feature of this property is that it has four duplexes. Um, four duplexes? Which are, two wow. of them are full-time rented right now, okay. so we won't be able to look at those today. Okay. But we can see these two beautiful rentals here each one of them has 8,000 gallon cistern underneath so you never have to worry about running out of water so what's really neat is that you and I could be side by side yes. right and fences make good neighbors they say <laughs> but we can like literally because you cook so well and I don't we can reach across there and feed each other Sounds well like a good plan you me. can feed me <laughs> in here. Who Just a beautiful space, Macarena. Who would not want to come here for meditation and yoga, drumming? I was here when they did drumming and a whole magical, wonderful spiritual meditation circle. Oh, it was exquisite. Mm -hmm. And this is on your own property. You have your own meditation slash sacred space on your property. And a place to do yoga when it's raining. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room. Now what's also special about this is its roof. Uh, the roof is basically Maya architecture. It's a Maya style roof like has been constructed on in Belize for millennia. Uh, and the next beautiful thing is that the bay palms are growing right on the grounds. So if ever you spring a leak, which inevitably will happen after some time, but you have the replacement right on the grounds. You're growing your own bay leaf to repair the roof. This property has it all. It's sustainable. sustainable. Sustainable living. Sustainable and to then even fix and, and take care of things later, right? You have yeah. everything here. So excited to show you this grand villa with over 3,000 square feet of living space. Holy beautiful. I mean, just the grounds themselves are just absolutely magnificent, spectacular. It's the best word I can come up with for sure. Well, I can tell you this is one of those houses that I think if they were to enter it in one of those architecture digest competitions, no doubt in my mind they would win a prize. One, because of all of the different hardwoods that they feature in this particular villa. Uh, villa. And we even have slate tiles. We have granite uh, countertops. We have, we have it all in this one grand villa that is something you have to see to believe. I cannot wait to, oh, look at these magnificent, I mean, it starts with the entranceway, right? Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. to 
to say it's nice to have a seat. That was a beautiful property <laughs> tour that you've given me. Thank you for that. I mean, you can tell we've been hiking. I even have stickers on my shoes for Burr. sure. <laughs> Burr, they call it, right? And we got we got rained upon, mm -hmm. right? How beautiful. Blessings from the gods. And we've seen a lot. So give me a little recap here of, of everything we've seen. Well, 120 acres. And it's a fairly long and narrow strip with beautiful mountainside, an undulating topography, jungle on it. I mean, there's a teak grove. There are um, cabbage bark trees. Uh, there's um, bay palms grove. Uh, there's just about everything. Three ponds, maybe <laughs> more. Right. Mayan residential house mounds on the grounds as well. Wow. Hiking trails. Two duplexes, four apartments, two of them rented long term, two of them rented short term, and this grand villa. There's a meditation house. Uh, that was beautiful too. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this place has something in every corner, a special surprise. It's a self sustainable dream. It's, you know, and it can be purchased by somebody who wants to make it their private family retreat. It could be a corporate retreat. It could easily become a nature uh, reserve. It could also become a resort property. There is so much potential in this property, Macarena. I'm so glad that we got to tour this place and to see it today. I'm very, very appreciative of that fact. And, and there are quite a few people that have been looking lately for family compounds. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for a place for not just their own family, like this one has basically the main home has three bedrooms, mm -hmm. but one of them could certainly be a mother-in-law's quarter or, you know, a teenager, but you can expand so easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's tons of room to expand. Even that area that you showed us could be for a helicopter pad, you said, right? Yeah, I was thinking a helipad is the one thing that we would we would add. <laughs> That's it. And the swimming pool is exquisite. It's gorgeous. I love a swimming pool to just, at the end of the day, to get in. And the lap pool part, oh, I just love it. It's a really special slice of the Belize jewel, as we call it here in Belize. And again, you had shared, you know, we are five minutes from town. It's just mind-boggling that we are that close to town and not one sound from town. Well, other than Mother Nature. I know, and we happen to love that, right? Absolutely. So I would really say if someone's looking for a home that can be a compound or a retreat center, a resort property, anything that you that you really want it to be, it's turnkey ready to go as a vacation rental mm -hmm. property for sure with this main exquisite home. But it could certainly be a retreat center with the yoga area, the meditation. It's ready to go for whatever your vision is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful slate. An investment piece for the future generations if you want to leave a legacy. I mean, consider the teak, 18 years old already. You know, teak is harvestable in 20 years, as we mentioned earlier. And there's a lot of teak to harvest. There's a lot of money in that. A lot of money on this grounds, yes, on the grounds sure. here. And with all the other trees too, of course. There's a mahogany grove, and mahogany is a national tree of Belize. It's a very precious hardwood, and its value keeps rising because all of the nicest, or a lot of the nicest cabinets are built with mahogany wood, especially in Belize. Like the and yeah. you would even say shown the door frames, right? And the doors? Oh and, my lord. And then the cedar also for the closet spaces because as we mentioned earlier, the cedar repels the insects and the mold. And so it makes it really, really neat that this property has mature cedar trees on it already. Oh, exquisite. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for taking time to show me I'm this I'm glad house. You, you came to see it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have for sure. Contact, of course, Ben, if you have any questions. This is certainly an ideal property for the discerning buyer.